All right, hello and welcome to our first tutorial on Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so because this is the first tutorial, I think we're gonna go through uh, pretty basic stuff, uh, like how are we gonna start. But then I will try my best to basically explain about the system as well. All right, uh, and and basically what's happened and why this is happening and whatnot. Okay, so soon as you open uh, Adobe Illustrator, this is what you get. Alright, this is a very common view, and if you've been you if you are being if you are being using uh, Adobe Illustrator with uh, with uh, previous works or whatnot, you will see that over here. So this is my previous file I've been working on for the past few days, and they they will appear over here. Alright, and and obviously you're gonna have your names you know your accounts and everything is gonna be shown here and over here I is the presets right so they come with uh, the preset for printing and also for web uh, or websites or digital kind of preset all right so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna go through more preset and this is what you're gonna see right now uh, we mostly gonna work with printing uh, meaning like our works is gonna end up printed in some way so there's a lot of uh, size for print uh, we're gonna choose this one so print uh, 210s and 294 this is a four size if you look above this you know you you can see that there's a lot of other templates as well for mobile uh iphone x you know they they basically have a lot of other presets as well web but we're gonna work with print which is uh uh paper size so if you look at this this is a4 but the 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 unit is basically in point so that's why it's basically uh different from what we have previously you know or recently this is what i recently used so print this is a4 size 210 and 297 uh so make sure your unit is in millimeters because that's what uh the unit that we gonna work on uh, most of the time bleed is basically uh the size of extra i would say uh, a little bit of extra space around the edge of the paper this is particularly useful for book uh, book production or book uh, publishing because they do need that bleed especially when when you have illustration or anything that goes all the way to the edge of the paper uh, bleed is very important okay so uh, the color mode we're gonna work with CMYK color because this is basically uh, the uh, standard color for printing uh, for RGB is basically for uh, online or digital I guess you know the, the thing that's appear on the screen is basically RGB colors and the one that we deal with printing is CMYK so uh, you always want to work with CMYK if your projects uh, will end up being printed because these two are like very differently like if you start with CMYK color and then sorry if you start with RGB colors and then you want to print it it will look it will have a different color uh, when you convert it into CMYK so make sure that you have that correctly uh, rust effect uh, is 300 ppi this is standard resolution for printed uh, printed uh, product if you want to do something like digital you can you know you can use 72 ppi but for me uh, I would always go to 300 ppi even though my work is basically uh, digital so 300 is basically high resolution so always go uh, for 300 all right so that's our preset or our setting before we start a new file this is basically what you all need to do uh, is, uh, determine the size of the print or the size of the work uh, the unit that's very important because I if you if you use other things and it will you know, if you if you choose feet and inch, it's gonna appear feet and inch, and uh, you really have to make sure that you use the unit that you wanted to use. All right, so 
millimeters myk colors uh, 300 ppi and then let's just click on create and it will create your new file okay so what we're gonna cover is uh, for this first tutorial just uh, what we have over here you know what we're gonna have and and I will I guess I will I will explain what function that you all will be uh, working with and and most frequently I guess that will be helpful for you okay first before you start to do anything you would want to go to here uh, the workspace we call it and then uh, choose essential classic okay also because why essential classic essential classic is the one that that have most of the function or most of the buttons or thumbnail that you have over here right so if you if you just choose essential is 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 gonna have like quite limited amount of functions and I will always start with essential classic if I would use this software in a new PC okay uh, so mine is already uh, tailor made I guess I you know I'll, I'll, I already edit my workspace uh, in painting and this is all I need uh, I will already have all the functions that I need over here so I already edited my painting but if you if you just uh, freshly started uh, you would want to start with essential classic so all whatever you need is basically over here okay so uh, that's that uh, workspace right next thing that we're going to talk about is going to talk about what we have here this white space is what we call the artboard right so if you look at here this is the thumbnail for the artboard if you look if you click click it and then you will enter the mode for the artboards and basically you can change uh, the resolution of the artboard okay so and you can also duplicate the artboards in this in this mode so if you want to uh, exit this mode just click on the selection tools and then you back on the selection modes okay so whenever the, uh, the 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 main idea is that if you're very new to illustrate illustrator or if if you're new to adobe software uh even uh, when you click on each of this function it will activate sort of like a mode mode for that function like if you click square then you will enter the mode of creating creating a creating a square okay so if you create text and then you will enter the mode text and then after you finish it right for example you want to create a few text and after you finish that you're gonna have to click it again and then if if you don't do anything it will st stay on that mode and then if you click it again you will create another text so the only the only the only way to basically disable once you finish your what you wanted to do right so for example you want this to be a text and then you you know you finish your text and you click it somewhere else and then if you notice you're still in texting mode you know like you, it's you, it's still you know you, if you click it again you create another text so if you don't want to do that you just have to go to selection mode right or oh, basically what i did just now is to just uh click uh, or press escapes and then it will go straight to selection mode all right so that's that's how that's basically how uh illustrator or a or Ado adobe illustrator sort of works okay so that's the art bot now in illustrator the art bot is basically where you do your works or or i would say where the words are gonna appear itself all right but then uh Illustrator is really flexible in, in when it comes to its workspace that you can actually work outside of the artboard as well, right? And even if you like, if you import or uh, sorry, if you export the thing, uh, export as for example, uh, PNG uh, or JPEG, you can actually use the artboard or not use it if you don't click on use artboard your works will appear 
like it it will shows whatever whatever you have like regardless the artboard okay uh if you choose the artboard if you click on the artboard right and then it will uh, it will shows anything on the artboards only and if you have more than one artboard so you have two artboard or three artboards then it will create a separate file artboard one and artboard two and artboard three of uh, of that particular works okay so for for now obviously it's not going to show anything because our artboard is basically still empty okay so that's how the artboard sort of works or the workspace of adobe illustrator so basically you can do your works outside the artboard uh, you know if you want to do anything so sort of editing so whatnot and then you can drag it and then uh include it in your artboard and that will appear in your uh, final sort of published works okay so that's how the artboard sort of works okay so right now uh, that's the main thing that's basically uh, the basic things and how do you uh, start it to work on Adobe Illustrator uh, next we would like to discuss about your the thumbnails that we're gonna use okay so essential uh, when when we use essential uh, essential classic this is what we have here okay and all of this are uh, uh, very useful in creating uh, any kind of artworks however we do want to talk about things that we have over here now this is a uh, personal preference uh, and personally I would always like to have my colors over here that the first one the second is to have my layers on underneath it because uh, when you deal with very complex works you're going to deal with uh, a lot of layers and you're going to work with a lot of layers as well so you really need to you know have access like you 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 want to see them all the time okay uh, and to have your colors over here or uh, your swatches over here is really useful as well so that you can quickly uh, choose your color as you work so how you gonna do that is basically go to windows and then this is all the function that you have in illustrator so if you click colors and then you are gonna have that sort of pop out okay you what you do is that you can drag it <coughs> excuse me you can drag it and then sort of Uh, hold on. RGB is uh complements. Uh, nope. So this is swatch. We're gonna use CMYK. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna drag it here, and then it's gonna be there, right? So this libraries I'm not gonna use it that much. So we're gonna uh, exit or get rid of it uh, properties is quite important but then not really that important that you guys need to see it all the time so you just put it s over there so you know that one you want to use properties just click it and then disappear like that right another thing that you would like to have over here is your layer so this over here is a layer thumbnail so we can click it and then what you can do is you drag it out and then put it underneath this guy so you have now you have visual to your layers so you can basically see your layers all the time so it doesn't you don't have to click it to basically see what's going on so it's 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 uh visible over here okay so that's it that's your workplace that um in i guess uh m suitable for for what we're gonna work uh in our next video as well right this is technically workspace is uh, is a uh, personal preference as well and then it's uh, it's really tight or really connected to how you do your work and how you complete your tasks so for me this is what works uh, the most like like uh, what basically helped me to to finish my works uh, as quick as as possible or being uh, as efficient as possible layers is very important you know and colors basically uh, uh, help me to quickly just pick a colors and then you know work with it 
so that's it that's is that's for that's it for our first uh, tutorial for introduction on uh, Adobe Illustrator okay and uh, I'll see you guys on the next video then uh, we'll discuss more about uh, a basic functions like uh, the vector thingy uh, the vector lines and everything because Adobe Adi Illustrator is a vector software uh, it works on uh, vec uh, vector kind of image uh, compared to Photoshop Photoshop is more into JPEG or we call it rasterized image but Illustrator we work mostly on vector so we gonna discover on that concept and we will uh, technically work on that for our next video thank you very much I guess I see you guys on the next video then